In order to tie together his musical dramas, or operas, Wagner uses the technique of leitmotif, or leading motif. These short and memorable musical themes represent characters, places, objects and emotions, and so at the most basic level act as a signpost in the music as to what's happening on stage. Leitmotifs are characterised by their plasticity, their ability to change and alter in their key, speed, rhythm, tonality and orchestration to reflect the changes in the thing being represented. They can even morph into entirely new motifs or combine with others to gain new meanings. They are also characterised by their constant repetition throughout the drama. A theme which appears only once is not strictly speaking a leitmotif, but in my catalogues a couple of such motifs are listed because they have clearly defined meaning and are important to the music. Wagner's aim in his musical dramas, creating the Gesamtkunstwerk, the total work of art, was to present the drama in the orchestra, not to have the music as mere background to the actions on stage. As such, leitmotifs, a word incidentally that Wagner never used himself, are designed to work subconsciously to evoke emotions in the audience, not as signposts, as I called them, as is their most basic interpretation. Thus, it would be wrong to listen to Wagner's operas ticking off leitmotifs as they pass by as if on some safari, and any attempt to do so would be doomed to failure, since their use is so ubiquitous and subtle. However, knowledge of the main motifs and their meanings can be very useful in understanding what's going on, and for enthusiasts, which I assume you are, some understanding of how they relate to one another and how Wagner develops them intricately can be very interesting. This is all I seek to provide.